Hello and welcome to the Mighty Tripod Acting Studio YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about using WeTransfer.com to submit your video directly to the client, to the casting director, wherever it needs to go. We're going to send that video file directly. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And while you're here, you should check out our other videos. I have videos about shooting, editing, lots of stuff about self-taping, and a few product reviews. All right, let's get started. You have filmed your audition video on a smartphone or on a camera, whatever, you filmed it, you've edited it, it's ready to go, but instead of using a video hosting service like YouTube or Vimeo.com, this time they want you to send the file directly to them and we suggest using WeTransfer. You can also use a service like Hightail or maybe Dropbox, although there are sometimes issues with that. Um, Microsoft OneDrive might be an option, but I'm going to talk to you about WeTransfer.com. So first, you've made your video and you have the file. If you made it on here on a smartphone, now I'm an iPhone guy, so what I'm talking about is very specific to iPhone and the terms I use are iPhone terms. Now this may be the same language for my Android family users, but I don't use Android, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure. On this device, on the iPhone, you've made your video on iMovie, I want you to save that video to your camera roll, right? And then you go into photos, you go into your videos, double check that it's there, play it, make sure it's exactly as you want it, ready to go. Now what I tend to do, because I'm also in the Apple family for my desktop and my laptop, what I usually do is I send, I airdrop the file, airdrop the video from here to there. And then I go to WeTransfer.com on my computer, and there you go. WeTransfer.com, you can upload your video on WeTransfer, and it's pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay, here we go. So you have an internet browser open. You've gone to WeTransfer.com. And if you have never been there before, this is what the page will look like. You're going to get a welcome. You'll get some information here. There's going to be terms of service, cookie policies, all that jazz. You can read all that stuff. Or if you're like the rest of us, meaning me, you're just going to click I agree. All right. So here is all this stuff over here. Just ignore that, right? That's just advertising. So ignore that completely and just focus all of your attention on this white rectangle on the left side, okay? It's gonna ask you to add files, which clearly we need to do. You're gonna to need to tell WeTransfer where to send the email. So if you were sending to me, you'd send david at mightytripod.com. You would put in your email address here, right? And it'll ask you if you wanna create a free account. You may want to do that, you know, I, I don't think you have to. It says you'll need to verify your email. Don't you want to verify every time? Well, I would go, I mean, I've created a free account, so I suggest doing this. It's just a part of the system. They don't spam me with emails. It's just, you know, and it's free. It's a free account, no big deal. Put your email address there, all right, and then a message. Here is my self tape for blah, 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 blah. Thank you for your consideration. Sign your name. You can put other information. I'm sending two takes. You know, don't, you can't write a book in here, but just use your common sense, write a few things, make it personable, show your personality, be charming, but also be brief. Okay, so then of course you're gonna need to add your files. If you've not done that already, click that little plus button, okay? And then it's gonna bring up uh, a window on your computer, you're gonna need to locate those files, whether those are on your desktop or in your downloads or wherever, right? You'll select them, you'll bring them in, and once you've selected all of your files, whether you're sending one or two or whatever, then you will click transfer. It will transfer, meaning sending those videos to wherever you need them to go. Now, of course, you can also do this on your smartphone. You're gonna to go to a web browser, Safari, Chrome, Firefox, whatever. Go to wetransfer.com. You're gonna locate and upload your videos on wetransfer.com. It's gonna it's gonna ask where are the videos. You're gonna locate those. You're gonna put in the email address of where those videos are being sent, and you're gonna put in the email address of where they're being sent from, meaning your email address, and then you're gonna put in even a little message like, hello, here's my submission for blank. 
uh, the role of Joe in the film project, whatever that is. Thank you for your consideration. Then hit send. Boom. You're going to send the video. And when they download the video, if you're using WeTransfer, you'll get notified through email when they have downloaded that video, which I find very convenient.